Welcome back. All right, let's talk Verizon and how it stacks up against AT&T, especially since we discussed AT&T in yesterday's video. Verizon sitting at $44.88, up 0.58% today, and offering a pretty tempting 6% dividend yield at its current price. That's definitely one of the reasons people keep coming back to this stock, especially for those hunting for steady income. The sentiment around Verizon is still largely positive. 19 analysts are recommending it as a buy, with just a few taking a neutral stance and none calling for a sell. So overall, the market seems confident in Verizon's outlook. That said, some caution is reflected in the technicals which lean neutral but the candlestick patterns still give a slight buy signal. So, while there's optimism, it's not without some careful consideration. Over the last year Verizon has put in some solid numbers up 37.88%, which is great for a company this size. It's a little behind AT&T's 47%, but both stocks are showing the resilience of the telecom sector. Verizon also has an estimated 3.43% growth going forward, which is steady but not explosive. Pretty much what you'd expect from a stable, dividend-paying company. Looking at the moving averages, Verizon is above both its 50-day and 200-day SMAs, which, like with AT&T, signals a continuing bullish trend. The MACD looks stable as well, not showing any major momentum changes. Now the RSI is where we need to pay close attention. It's up around 70, which means Verizon is creeping into overbought territory. This suggests that we might see a pullback soon, something to keep in mind if you're looking to get in at a better price. It's worth noting that strong stocks can stay overbought for a while, but this is definitely a flag to watch for. Let's look at volume and money flow. Volume is steady, without much volatility, which is always a good sign of stability. The Chaikin Money Flow CMF indicator is positive, sitting at 0.4, meaning there's still good buying pressure. Investors are continuing to put money into Verizon, which shows a healthy demand for the stock. How does it compare to AT&T? So, how does Verizon compare to AT&T? Verizon's 6% dividend yield definitely stands out if you're looking for steady income, while AT&T's yield is just over 5%. Both are solid, but Verizon's yield gives it a bit more appeal for dividend-focused investors. In terms of stock performance, AT&T has had a stronger year with a 47% gain compared to Verizon's 38%, but both have been strong. For some investors, it could make sense to own both as part of a balanced approach to telecom stocks, especially if you're looking to benefit from both the dividend yields and the capital appreciation potential. So, here's the bottom line. Verizon's definitely looking good with a solid yield and strong performance. However, the RSI being near overbought levels is something to take seriously. A pullback could be coming, so if you're thinking about jumping in, it might be worth waiting for a better entry point. But, for long-term investors, especially those interested in dividends, Verizon remains a strong choice. And honestly, picking up both Verizon and AT&T could be a smart move for anyone looking to balance out their exposure to the telecom sector. So thanks for watching and we hope you'll subscribe. Bye for now.